Today we're going to install a new floater sensor for the fuel level inside the dash on a 2011 Chevrolet Traverse. All right, so I just made a video of how to remove this pump and I have the replacement part already. Here's the part number. And inside this kit comes a new pump and a new O-ring for the fuel pump. There's the big O-ring. Here is the new floater reader. All right, so let's go ahead and install it. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. Okay, so when I removed the original one, it was placed like so from the inside. And then that pigtail goes connected right underneath, right in this spot here. Let me grab my light so you can see it. There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and install the new one. Put my light on. So we're gonna grab the new part, just like so. And we're just gonna insert it in here. It has these little guides. It's like guide itself in, as you can see. So we're gonna just guide that sucker all the way down. Just like so. Until it clicks. There it is. We're gonna pass these wires right in here. Little latch place right here. You might need both hands. All right, there it is. And now we're gonna go ahead and just plug them in right in here. Might help if I'm able to see where I'm trying to plug it in. All right, and there it is. It just goes like this. There's two little guides on it. And, dang it, I'm gonna need both hands again. All right, and there it is, and just lock it into place. Perfect, sweet. And that is how you install a new floater. I don't wanna mess with it because it is reading like this right here. And I don't wanna mess up the new little pins. So I'm not going to mess with it. But there it is, the new floater is installed. That way it's able to read the fuel level and it's ready to put back inside. Sweet, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.